welcome to my tutorial. Uh, this was a tutorial request, and it was requested by uh, Iconic Pixel. You can check out his channel by hitting the link in my description, and it'll take you there. So you can check that out if you want. But anyways, that thing that you saw at the intro there, that is what we will be learning today. It's just a simple intro creation. Um, very, very simple. Um, obviously, with this kind of thing, you can go very flexible and very complex. You can do all sorts of things with uh, what we'll be doing today and uh, so it's important to keep your mind open but this is a very very simple intro creation um, uh, maybe later I'll make an advanced tutorial but this is a very very basic one so I'm hoping not to get too many troubles uh, one thing though uh, you should have some prior knowledge to keyframing before doing this because keyframing is the main uh, fundamental of making intros so uh, it's important that you know your keyframes left and right, uh, up and down, you know, so. I know I don't have a keyframe tutorial up, but I'll put one up soon. And, uh, until then, maybe you should check out a keyframing tutorial. But anyways, uh, let's just try this out. So, what that intro basically was, it was basically media generators that were keyframed to look cool. So, first of all, let's go to our media generators tab. I'm gonna go to, uh, checkerboard, and I, dr uh, had large tiles that was the the checkerboard thing in the back now i changed the color of the checkerboards to lime green in the the video but for this uh method i'm just gonna have it at red just for some variety okay so there's our red checkerboards now what i'm gonna do is go to my video effects tab i'm gonna go to bump map and drag an upper right glow and this is what made it look so 3d um as you can see it uh gives it just a little 3d look but uh, it will look a lot better once we uh, pan it up and it will um, have a lot more depth to it and it will look a lot better so we can just exit out of this now now on our checkerboards track all we gotta do is go to our pan and crop window that's this little white icon over here or you can right click the clip and go to video event pan slash crop and then here's our pan and crop window now what I'm gonna do is uh, have it zoomed in right here it's zoomed in as you can see and I'm gonna have it uh, rotated a bit. Let me just bump this quality up. Okay, here it is. It's rotated. Now I'm gonna put a keyframe at the end of the timeline, and then I'm gonna have it zoom out and uh, straighten itself out as well. See, this is where the keyframing comes in. So it's important that you know your keyframes. So let's play this back for you guys. And with that one keyframe, we just got the checkerboards uh, zooming out and uh, straightening itself out and stuff. So. As you can see, it looks pretty good, but uh, right now, let's keyframe our little glow thing to make it look a lot better. So, I'm going to go to my event effects icon over here, or you can right-click the clip, go to video event effects. Now, here is our bump map. Now, let's uh, change this. So, I'm going to put a keyframe at the end of the timeline, and I'm just going to move this little icon thingy. Uh, if you move it around, it moves where the light is positioned. I'm going to move this to the bottom left corner. And I'm going to bump up the shininess or a bit. So if we play back, it's basically the same. However, the light now slowly moves from uh, point A to point B. And it also uh, gradually gets a bit brighter. So it just adds a little variety. It keeps a, it a little fresh. So that's all good. So, okay, now we got our general uh, checkerboard. Now, uh, you might have noticed at the beginning, I had the, this little cloudy, smoggy smoke thing. So uh, I'm going to show you how I created that. So what we're going to do is just right click our timeline and hit insert video track. Uh, if you also type control shift Q, that's the keyboard shortcut. Just hit control shift Q on your keyboard and then we'll also do the same thing. So here's our new video track. Now let's go back to media generators and let's drag in noise texture soft clouds. Now here what I did was I changed the color of the background to black then this grain amplitude fall off, I lowered it, and what this does is it kind of rounds off the edges. As you can see, here's like the normal, and if we lower it, it basically just rounds off the edges and makes it a bit uh, more rounded. And that's what I did. Then this bias slider, I bumped this up, and what this does is it kind of disappears some of the, uh, or it vanishes some of the clouds that we don't really need. Now I'm going to go to my keyframe timeline and put another keyframe at the end. Because since it's a very simple intro, all our keyframes will be a two keyframe uh, effect, just one at the beginning and one at the end. Now this progress and degrees is going to go to full, and then we're basically done for the clouds. So now if we play it back, all you can see is the clouds. 
and uh, in the original video I had uh, the checkerboard still visible. So what we need to do here is lower the opacity of our clouds. Now to do this, simply put your mouse at the edge of your uh, clouds clip. Just uh, put your mouse at the very top edge of the clip. You'll see your mouse icon will change and it will say opacity is 100%. Just simply click and then drag it down to whatever you want. I'm going to say about 44% is good. Then if we play it back, you can still see the clouds but the checkerboard is also visible. So that's all good and now we're basically done. We just have to add the text and we're set. So I'm going to go to media generators, text, and then have so, uh, default text ready. And I'm just going to drag it into its own track. So uh, just right click, go to insert video track, then drag in your text on to its uh, track. So make sure that your text is on the top track, otherwise uh, it won't be visible. Now let's uh, change this text. I'm just going to call it my uh, YouTube account name, Techtopia, but you can call it whatever you want. Uh, maybe if you're making like Halo montages or something, you'll put your... Uh, you know, a Xbox Live name or whatever, so, yeah. It helps to have a good custom fonts installed on your computer, too. So, uh, you might want to look up how to install custom fonts. I know I haven't put my font tutorial up either, but, um, I'll get it up soon enough. Okay, so here's my text. I'm just gonna, uh, add some outlines to it by going to my effects tab. Have draw outline checked. Put this width up, and I'm gonna change the color to lime green. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm also going to bump this feather up a bit just to smooth it out. Okay, it gives it a nice neon glow. Now, all i got to do now is uh, move my text with another keyframe. So I'm going to go to my event pan slash crop window. And I'm going to have it uh, zoomed out a bit. And it's also going to be rotated slightly. And now I'm going to put another keyframe at the end. And what this keyframe is going to do is it's going to move our text into the top left corner. And at the same time, it's going to rotate it and uh, maybe even zoom it in if a bit. Okay, let's just position this good. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now if we play it back, there's our text and everything's moving quite slowly. So uh, you can position the keyframes uh, closer together if you want to speed it up, but that's a pretty good speed because we're not going crazy fast. This is just a very simple intro creation, as I stated many times. So we're basically done now. The only thing is, is at the end of the video, you might have noticed that little zoom in thing. I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go to the very last frame of our project. Now to do this, just uh, simply click near the edge of your project. Then with your arrow keys, use your right arrow key to zoom or to progress in your frames and uh, your left arrow to go back with your frames. So go to the very last frame. Here it is. Uh, frame number 299 so I guess there's 300 frames on this 10 second project which makes sense so I'm on frame 299 now what I'm gonna do is go over here to this uh, save snapshot to file I kinda looks like a little floppy disk above, above your video preview I'm just gonna hit that and then hit save and now I got this new image imported into my project media tab so I'm gonna drag this in and I'm also gonna split the clip so that it's a lot shorter because we don't need a very long clip for a very fast zoom. So now we have a few seconds of uh, this picture. So now all we got to do is go to our pan and crop window and then put another keyframe at the very end and then just have it zoom in full. So let's just have this zoom in right onto the letter itself. And there you go. Uh, it just zoomed in all the way to the white. So if we play the entire thing back for you, we basically just created a very simple, very uh, primitive intro creation. Obviously, this won't get you very far, but it's a very good start. So uh, if you practice with stuff like this, uh, you'll get on to creating advanced intro creations in no time. So practice with this and stuff and other keyframing exercises. So then once you're really familiar with keyframes and advanced keyframes, you can move on to... Uh, different compositing modes and 3D intro creations and stuff like that, which I will get to another time. But anyways, thanks for the request, Iconic Pixel, and uh, thank you guys for watching.